Now at 530, concerns about a concrete cover-up in Contra Costa County. Activists say city leaders are seeing dollar signs and are pushing a toxic problem out of sight. Good evening, I'm Veronica De La Cruz. I'm Alan Martin. That debate is over a planned housing development in Richmond. This shoreline site at Bay and Broadway has remained in limbo for years after decades of contamination. As KPI X5's John Ramos reports, the city has accepted a proposal to build without removing that toxic soil. Much of the old Campus Bay Business Park along the Richmond waterfront has been locked away behind fences and barbed wire because the ground holds so many poisons. The land used to be a toxic dumping ground, and Sherry Paget, who works next to the site, says last year the city council voted to require any developer to dig up the contaminated soil and remove it. This last Tuesday, they reversed their decision and said, no, leave it here and pour a concrete cover over it with pipes in the foundations of the buildings to vent out the gases so that humans wouldn't be poisoned, they think. A developer wants to build 4,000 homes on the site and is proposing the dirt, which is full of arsenic, toxic metals and chemicals, be sealed under a concrete cap. Richmond's mayor, Tom Butt, says he's concerned about the dust that would be stirred up if the soil was removed before construction. But the main argument uh, for treating it on site was that it was actually res less risky than digging it up and hauling it to another state somewhere. But there is another issue weighing heavily as well, money. It's estimated that removing the soil could cost more than $130 million, and the developer reportedly considers that a deal breaker. It may cost so much that no developer would uh, show up to undertake it, and it would just sit there the way it is for another decade. But the project could eventually be worth billions, and the city has asked for a $52 million community benefits payment to help fund city programs and services. The, these community benefit agreements are not, you know, they're not, they're not necessarily a payoff for doing something that's, that's less than, you know, less than desirable. But those opposing the deal say it sure feels that way, and once the property is sealed and homes are built, they say the toxic soil will sit there, slowly leaching into the bay and groundwater. What are we going to do then? What, what will we do? How will we correct that problem? So now is the time to make the right decision. In Richmond, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Now, the council's vote just expressed official support for the project. The actual approval for such a plan rests with the State Department of Toxic Substances Control.